All right, to uh, help with our uh, diagnosis of this HP uh, board, to figure out where our power circuit problem is, we have an HP DV4 uh, schematic here. So this is actual manufacturer schematics of the uh, board. And what we're trying to figure out here is where exactly our problem lies in the power circuit. So we're going to go to uh, page 35 or 36. We'll start with 36 here. Yes. Um, what happens here is you have the light for your uh, power jack. And this will tell you the, uh, well, this is pretty much the schematic layout of the power circuit. So we're going to go here and zoom in just so we can read this a little bit better and what happens is this actually gives us a layout of how the power cycles through so as we look at this we see that um, where we were looking on the one side in the power channel uh, that's your power in for your light and then you have your uh, fed off to the side here and then you have another uh, fed for it these are all located uh, on the back side and then you have your one fed on the top which is labeled uh, 4466 so that looks like that's right for the schematic what we're trying to do is figure out where the power stopped on the one side. So as we follow this schematic through, which we'll do that here, we'll go to the other side. This uh, schematic actually gives us a layout of our entire uh, board as the power travels through it. And what we find is where that WAN port uh, jack was, we find that um, these are our uh, FETs that were off to the side. The one FET that we changed is being directly affected by this PR102 uh, chip. So what we're going to do is also check the PR102 chip that directly affects this um, before we change it. So. What happens is we have PR102 pulling power into the board from our uh, positive and negative for our base on our power. And then it directly goes across to uh, the charging core and the battery. So we have battery on this side and uh, charging core on this side. Uh, and it pretty much goes through this max chip. So what we'll do is uh, check that out and see what that does. Uh, most likely, we're not going to find anything. It's going to be linked to one of these chips because one of these chips is going to be throwing our board to ground. So we'll change this and check this and uh, see where it gets us. But we should get this chip to engage, and then after this chip engages, what's going to happen is then it'll turn uh, the light back on for the dim and uh, everything should be running perfectly fine.